So since the last fit is in, in approximately June of last year, nothing's changed at all. 12.52, Thursday the 27th of October 2022 for the 12.52 Grand Central service from London King's Cross to Sunderland. I'm going to spend too long here today. I've got to walk back to the railway station. That's over half an hour away. I tried to come down here last month, but this exact section where I'm stood was closed for waterworks. And they blocked the whole highway straight across the road. So you couldn't even really get into the garages on the right. There was no footwear available either because they had the whole stretch of the road end to end at the barriers. Well, I just think an end to end where it's all wiggly wobbly up near Leverton and then as you come over the road to vote for the A1. It will be a massive pain to recover again. We'll be eating Lane and Gamston Bank. It's half an hour walk here from the station, they're probably about an hour. that's adding literally an extra 15 minutes plus VAT it's more like an extra 25 Maybe 55 minutes walk from the station and nobody's doing that not in the right mind let's see if I've got a mind at all is this it or are we staying I suppose we're going to find out aren't we I'm not, sure I'm not going to whack me on the sign like I did once before because we're back though Only alarm that's never had a single fault in my years of visiting. But you thought I was going to say teaching then. Right, 12.57, the 12.57 LNR Azuma from Harrogate to London King's Cross. So I check northbound, okay, we're going to be staying. The 12.58 LNR Azuma from London King's Cross to Edinburgh. That's probably going to make it also 1D12. How far is it? Yep. Yeah. So add on to the end of that lot, the 1301 LNER Azuma from London King's Cross to Harrogate. This would be the most awful site to get stuck at because you've got no route back to where you came from. That's the only risky bit this end. Just quickly whilst we're at it and the nearest car's kept back a bit. We've got road closed here signs, right. It starts with Grove, but the level crossing it's for is just over a three quarter miles away. Grindley road level crossing, love. Excuse me. So that was a start, Grindley road's on the other flipping line. If I do a measurement now of how far it, it'd be a 33 minute walk to get there, which measures out, well, road is two miles, walking yeah, just under two miles. So these signs are two miles away from where they're meant to be. Thanks everybody. But who's responsible for putting them out? Isn't it the local council? And there's also a bent bus stop just up the way near Allison Avenue which used to be served with something, but they're both closed now. So whatever route went this way, either doesn't call there anymore or doesn't run anymore. Who's first? So I've got both approaching in the first bunch, and then we're staying for the other one. There'll be no time to get these back down if we put them up. It remembers the days of up to four in one go. Um, fuck knows. Good luck, everybody. Eight hundred 
with one one two, I think. Out on the one oh nine. It means we've got a third, let's figure it out. So that was Harrogate London first, 112, London Edinburgh, 801219. Next we've just got a dinky little five car because Harrogate's got a short platform along with Horsforth. In an earlier test train I saw downstairs on Retford P3 is terminating at the railway station on platform 2 to then run back through works up over to Derby because they want it back there immediately but due to end at Doncaster West Shore where it came from originally the other day. So I think it came from there yesterday. It might have come from Derby in the first place. Maybe they found a defect on the line and want it back immediately to log it and figure out where it is and send a repair team along. That's the last one approaching from behind me. So we need X-ray vision or stare at what's been given in Darwin. And genius, which isn't so genius when it breaks. Oh, well, this should give us a few minute break after this because then we've got a Paragon that calls at the railway station. He's back at Carlton, maybe seven minutes away. No, I'm going to be cheeky. I've got the listing up. Hundred two zero eight for Harrogate. Let's go. Right then, it's time for another double. 13.04 for the 13.08 LNER Resumer from Edinburgh to London King's Cross and the 13.10 Hull Trains Paragon service from London King's Cross to Hull. the next one after this. Now I'll make a move back to the railway station after that. Give me a lot of room here these days. Just having cars sat right next to me. That's the Paragons over at Gamston and Eton. The other train is just approaching the railway station. 
Well, that's a note. Hull Trains has now named all of their five Paragons with some name or other. I think this one's called the Bee Lady. One we saw earlier, I think 304's William Shakespeare for some reason, so he's got three trains, a Northern 158, a DC Rail 60, and now a flipping Paragon as well. I don't know what the rest are called, that 301, 302, and 305. But there we go. Under green ginger, apparently, 802303 for Hull. I think you could get green ginger, unless you dyed it. Probably wouldn't taste very nice either. Minty nuts, no. And the second one, which I'm not going to be able to read. Eight zero one two two zero for London King's Cross.